Hello friends, today I am going to discuss some different topic but very interesting that is the CSV means computer system validation. Computer system validation is a very vast topic so it cannot be discussed in a single video. Don't worry, I will discuss in step by step in different video. So today I will discuss about GAM guideline, software classification categorized as per GAM guideline, why classified software? Why bother to classify software? What benefit does the software classification provide? Before start up the video, I should introduce myself. Hi, I am Abhijit. I have more than 10 years of experience in different pharmaceutical company in quality control as well as the quality assurance department. So first, I will discuss about the GAM guideline. Do you know what full form of GAM is? GAM is the good automated manufacturing practice. I think you know about the GMP means good manufacturing practice. Here only A means automated word is added. The first version of GAM guideline was written by a group of pharmaceutical people in UK in early 1990s as mechanism to control supplier of process equipment to the pharmaceutical industries. It was very specific design to address industry's needs and meets the evolving expectation of the FDA regulations. The current GAM guideline version is GAM 5. It is the latest standard of the guideline. It was released in the February 2008 by the International Society of Pharmaceutical Engineering. It's also known as ISP. It is important to note that rather than the being a regulation, GAM 5 is a great set of principles and procedure create to help validate automated computer system for pharmaceuticals manufacturing industries. In the other words, this guideline helps manufacturer meet regulations they must control with go to the market. These best practices are respected and used by the regulated company and their suppliers also. Now I will discuss software classification categorized as per the GAM5 guideline. The previous version of GAM5 was the GAM4. In the GAM4, there was the 5 categories of the software, category 1 to category 5. Now I am telling you step by step. The category 1 is the operating system, category 2 is the firmware, category 3 is the standard software, category 4 is the configured software and category 5 is the custom software. Now I am explaining the each and every category software. First is the category 1. Category 1 is the standard operating procedure like Windows, XP, database and programming languages. Category 2 is not live in the GAM 5 guideline. It was present in the old version of GAM 4. Category 3 is the non-figured product like standard applications. This category includes the software which can meet the requirements of the business process without modifications or used as installed as well as configurable software that is used but only with its default setting example lab software programmable logical controls category 3 software having five subcategories category 3a b c d and e now i am telling you about the category 3a in category 3a where you can able to view the reading example digital vernier calipers in category 3b where you can able to view the reading and get the system generated printout like analytical balance in category 3c where you can able to view the reading recipe can be selected and you can get the system generated print like raw water system generation here no process data recording and storage are available in category 3d where you can able to view reading, recipe can be selected, get the system generated print and print and capable to store in the server. Example autoclave, example liophilizer and uh, compression machine, BMS software and EMS system also. In category 3E, you can able to view the reading, you can take the printout from system you can store the data in the server, you can save the recipe and as well as the, pro the data can be processed. Example, the lab software like IRS software, uh, standalone HPLC. Category 4 is the configured software. Here, guideline describe software applications which are configured 
to meet the specification of business requirement. Example, LIMS, SCADA, DCS, CDS, etc. Where you can able to view the reading, recipe can be selected, get the system generated printout, and capable to store and process the data and configure the data based on the user requirement. Category 5 is the personalized software and the custom applications. This software is created to the meet the customer business needs only. Like the electronic batch record. Electronic batch record uh, software is manufactured by one software company as per the customer requirement only. Means these software are not previously created. This software category 5 software is created as per the pharmaceuticals manufacturing company only because the process is different different type of company manufacturing process different product manufacturing process are the different so the software have to be created as per the manufacturing process only during the category 5 software creation you have to remember a lot of things like software qualification needed or not password control storage backup, auditor review, and you should prepare one risk assessment. Now, why classified software? Why bother to classify software? What are the benefits the software classifications provide? I already discussed about the category of the software. I think you should ask the questions like why bother the software classification and what benefits does the software classifications provide? If you think from the category 1 software to category 5 software from category 1 to category 5 software became the complicated software category 1 software is very minimum risk software you can use as it is there is no risk to implement the software in the manufacturing industries but if you think the category 5 software it is the very high risk software so category 5 software implementation is very complicated as compared to category 1 from the software categorization we can easily identify which type of requirement during the which type of software implementation in my next video i will discuss category wise requirement if you have any doubt in this video you can comment me i will definitely reply you if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel with hit the bell icon thank you